Hey peeps, under an addition, welcome back. Yes, we are back to Thedas even if we won. We are actually back uh, because, yes, we defeated the big buddy, Corypheus. But it's not over yet not even a bit <laughs> so welcome back peeps and let me welcome to uh, my uh, almost empty as you can see skyhold right now it's kind of spooky like this let me do the usual checks while... Okay, I'm gonna give you a nice perspective. Uh, if you only turn around, okay. Turn around. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, um, what are we going to do if we actually uh, managed to finish the game last time, right? Okay, uh, the check is A positive because <laughs> uh, I just sang myself in a loop. So yeah, uh, what are we going to do now that we basically uh, finished, hmm? right? I mean, we beat the big baddie. Pick up. Let's see. It wasn't a dream, right? Yeah, it wasn't a dream in the sense that I cannot still yes as you can see no more main quest no more missions just you know skyhold all around but fortunately if we uh, move around Inquisitor. here we still find our companions a little nervous having the woman who commanded our spies on the sunburst throne. Mm -hmm, hello. Like if anybody recites the chant wrong, she'll have them shift. Ciao. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to go out and find some trouble, I'm up for it. So what Perik just said that it doesn't feel very. Um, <laughs> it's a bit creepy that we now have our uh, head of spies on the sunburst throne. So basically. Uh, the she pope of Thedas is the one you used to, you know, kidnap and interrogate people. Uh, in the meantime, let me welcome someone who I know is Italian. So, ciao, ciao, Flam. E lo so che faccio così, appaio, appaio, scompaio. Okay, then we're back to English. Hello, Silver. Yes, very ready. Also, okay, a warning. Uh, before we get into uh, sad shit, um, a warning. I may have to interrupt uh, momentarily tonight if a certain wandering cat appears. Because uh, you have to know, I used to have a cat. Uh, I didn't. I, she passed years ago, right? Uh, ciao, cara. <laughs> and. Uh, um, this morning, um, suddenly a big, beautiful black cat appeared <laughs> uh, from the roof <laughs> and tentatively asked permission to enter, basically. And uh, um, yeah, I granted it because, yay, cat. And um, Khajiit wants to join the stream. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> And so I had a cat for uh, the entirety of today. He was basically popping in and out, in and out. And at some point it showed some sign of distress. And I thought, okay, he's lost and he wants to get back home. But he doesn't really get how because he was wandering around the roof and then coming back to me. So I finally fed him. 
And after I fed him, um, gave him um, a place to do his business, and gave him water, uh, and gave him some pets and cuddles, yeah, yeah, he went away as, as the darkness fell around him. He went away. So I'm hoping uh, he found his way home. But it could also be just napping on the roof because cats. So if he comes in, uh, when I'm taking the occasion to try and close the window because I'm <laughs> super cold right now. And also he has a tendency, he had a tendency this afternoon. Um, <laughs> yes, a cat entered from the roof. Sounds quite good. Yeah, I'm living in an attic. That's why. Um, he showed a tendency today to want uh, to, to jump on my desk where the computer and the PlayStation and everything is. So yeah, he could interrupt the stream very well on its own. So yeah, just a warning. Anyway, um, here we are. Um, as you can see. This is Iviani, and her old story has been painted around these walls. So let's just, ooh, yes, let's just, you know, recap. As you can see, we have all that has happened to us. This is the orb, this is Corypheus and the orb. Look at that. This is adamant, the fortress, the Grey Warden's symbol. Yes. This is basically what happened at Haven when Corypheus broke the conclave. Yes, I was getting to that. <laughs> um, then this is, this represents adamant. The many eyes of the demon, of the fear demon, the choice between uh, disbanding or uh, recruiting basically the Grey Wardens, the fortress. Then we have Wicked Eyes and Wicked Arts with Selene, the elves, the nobles. And then here is the elves fighting to um, keep the tem Temple of Mythol safe and the alluvian this is clearly the alluvian and then after this someone started to paint something else as you can see but never finished and that someone is obviously yes how uh, silver is pointing out in chat her asshole boyfriend Solas. So I don't know if you uh, know how um, frescoes are painted, but let's see if I can show you a close up. Yes, this is very well done because actually uh, frescoes are not just painted on a surface, uh, they're called frescoes, uh, so fresh, because you actually um, plaster uh, on some fresh plaster <laughs> you basically put on some fresh plaster um in the zone that you are going to paint and you paint on the fresh um surface is not it, it has not to be dry yet and you also uh use um some various techniques one of them implies that you actually uh, hatch your um, your contouring of the imaging of the image sorry <laughs> I, I can explain this better in Italian but you get my meaning and so this is what Solas started to do he actually just sketched on the plaster and then he um, basically hatched everything that was like instead of using pencil he basically um, used a scalp uh scalpel no not a scalpel oh is this a false friend in italian sorry <laughs> uh he basically uh used something to um uh scar the wall okay and engrave every edge 
then you would have uh, filled the engraved edges with plaster and painted on the fresh plaster while it was fresh okay chisel thank you very much it's very nice to have someone in chat who sometimes helps me when i do not remember words i assure you i do that in italian as well maybe more often than in english so yeah and as you know if you watched last time Solas left and um, it disappeared after uh, the final battle. So he chiseled the wall, the uh, lines for, uh, he basically uh, chisel sketched the new piece he was going to draw. And you can see there's someone who, that looks very much like a foot, an armored foot, or it could be the head. Here's the head, and I think that's more likely the head of a dragon, and there the uh, wing of a dragon extended with a sword piercing the neck, okay? Can you see that, right? And so a dragon has been killed by someone with a sword and another creature, a strange creature that looks a bit like a dragon, but also a bit like a wolf, a very, very big wolf, who is roaring, maybe uh, looking at the corpse of the dragon because we learned something last time right we learned and here's gonna be spoilers from now on not gonna um you know not gonna keep anything now we're done with uh, keeping secrets um last time we learned that Solas was actually the dread wolf himself, Fen Harel, the elven god of mischief and uh, lies and tricks and betrayal. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Silva says, so Sola was not quite painting the story as much as enjoying a very drawn out game of Pictionary. Yes! It was like, ooh, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Next! And we've seen Sola's last time do something particular. Let's see if Colin has some new dialogue. Liliana is to be divine. Ooh. It will be strange to see her go. Given her plans for the Chantry, the months to come will be interesting yeah that's one word for it everyone keeps remarking on the fact that Liliana is going to be the vine and that's good because that's actually uh, one of the first uh, just the second confirmation of the fact that you actually got what you wanted for the divine or not um so yeah Solas did something. Oh, Michelle, I hate you. Very strange. So you met up with um, Flemeth, aka Mithal, the goddess Mithal, and they uh, greeted as long lost friends. Unfortunately, uh, I cannot, uh, you cannot find that last bit on my stream but i uploaded the video of that because it was a cutscene after the final um uh titles so uh, after the end titles the end credits okay <laughs> okay it's not a good day for words today and um my stream collapsed okay <laughs> exactly in that moment and so yeah we had that and they talk, spoke a bit and they said there was no other choice and then Solas apparently killed Mithal 
Hmm. Let's see if we get one of the new songs because there should be new songs. Nope. Same old sound. Um. So yeah, that's what happened on <laughs> Thaders. And here we are now. So uh, there's no beating it around anymore. Let's go because it's time for dlcs Ooh, before we do that we absolutely need to unload some stuff because yeah inventory mm. no cat okay um i don't know if i'm sorry uh, i don't know if you um got that but if i am um, feel the need to in pause the stream abruptly is because because I have a cat that uh, decided to wander into my aisles today from the rooftop I live in an attic and uh, sometimes he comes in and decides to um, scratch the sofa and do stuff like that and sometimes he just wants you know attention it's not my cat I don't know where he comes from but yeah I love cats uh, but sometimes I'm worried that he could do some damage around the house. It's not a cat proof house anymore Also, um, he has a tendency to jump on the desk from which I'm streaming. So yeah, if I suddenly uh, Go silent. That's why uh, Anyway, uh, let's see. What do we leave here? Oh I love this sword, but it's now, you know a bit outdated yeah this one as well oh this is my inventory <laughs> not the um, storage so what do we leave here <laughs> look at that I love all these weapons I can never um, let's see okay I don't have much stuff yeah I have space Let's leave one of these, so yeah. Oh yeah, let's leave this. And this. Mm, yeah, I don't like this, so I'm never gonna use it. One of the... Okay, I definitely hit a duplicate... Can you see this? I definitely got some sort of duplication um, glitch some point. Because I have basically two of everything. This is still Vivian. I'm never using Vivian again. So yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't care about this. Okay, we're good. We're super good. Um, so, as I was saying. It's time for us to explore the deep roads guys we went we vanquished the big buddy we discovered the truth behind a meridan the last and first inquisitor well the first i don't know it was the last and now we are ready to go and explore the underground it's gonna be tough Hey, we're tough, right? So this is Trespasser. And, uh, nope. Because that's the end, end, end game. Look at that. Disaster in the deep roads. Yeah, we can afford 16 so, points Liliana, of power. should I bow whenever you come into the room now? <laughs> hey. The ceremony is not for a while. It will be strange to see you and think... There walks Divine Victoria. Then let us enjoy these moments while they last, as colleagues. Nor as friends. What's this? A breach in decorum? Perish the thought. Uh, as you can see, sorry, this dialogue was very sweet. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, war table operations that are not available anymore, even if you didn't uh, complete them. The resources uh, stay there, but the rest, most of the rest, disappear. So, disaster in the deep roads. Three, two, one, go. 
the Inquisition has received an urgent request from a of aid from Ozima. A subterranean if you Lake Callanhad is shaped like a bunny. <laughs> Perhaps we should take a Oh, I think I see it. Mm. Cullen, we were, s you know, okay. <laughs> a subterranean earthquake has collapsed on uh, uh, one of their uh, has collapsed one of their lithium mines and endangered several others. Even worse, tunnel seals preventing dark spawn from overrunning the dwarven occupied deep roads have crumbled, allowing hordes of the enemy to invade. Ozimar is a key provider of the Inquisition's Lyrian supplies, and as such, its security is a top priority. The earthquake opened a fissure in the Storm Coast Mountains, granting direct access from the surface to the threatened region underground. Constructing a mining lift at the fissure site will permit the Inquisition to transport forces directly to where Darkspawn fighting is fiercest. So yes, there's an earthquake and something is, you know. Construction team arrived in the Storm Coast Mountain and set up a mining lift to transport Inquisition forces from the earthquake fissure opening down into the deep roads. Down into the deep roads, down into the deep roads. Sorry, sea shanties have left some, you know, <clears throat> scar tissues. Anyway, um, the lift will be finished by the time you get there. Anyone going into the deep roads should dress accordingly. Don't skimp on the armor and bring the best weapons in Skyhold Arsenal. I also recommend packing plenty of dry rations. Most things down there will be looking to eat the Inquisition, not the other way around. Would you like? Yes, I would. Okay, guys. The usual uh, roundup. Uh, if you have suggestions. Yes, everyone in Deep Roads should dress, pack and leave a will. Yes, absolutely. Uh, write down your will because, yeah, someone's not coming back. Mm. Oh, God. Tea is amazing. Mm, sorry. Now, the usual. If you have suggestions on uh, who should I bring down to the deep roads, uh, give me your... As you can see, we cannot bring Solas with us anymore, unsurprisingly, because he left. Uh, this leaves us without, I think, the option of one of the funniest banter... Uh, with Varric, but maybe you will do it with Dorian as well. So, uh, Iron Bull um, kinda protests if you bring him down because I hate that it's we, we're left with this Iron Bull um, tarot card, which looks very dramatic and not at all resolutive. While the others have all... Yeah, they changed. As you can see, the tarot cards have all changed. But, yeah. Anyway, you know what? We have a team established. And we're gonna bring... I'm a mage, of course. So I'm gonna bring the usual Blackie. And I'm gonna bring Varric just because he's a dwarf and has great commentary okay and then we're going to bring mm, 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 yes Dorian let's go I didn't hear any suggestion from your part sorry so prepare for some of the most stunning scenery in the entire game i know i say this a lot Ooh, what is this <laughs> did you see that that never happened before that's that flickering just when i play uh, the multiplayer but i don't think you can actually see that 
on the stream well better this way it's taking quite a lot to load hmm that's okay now something's happening this dlc is very glitchy and i mean very inquisitor the workers are almost done building a lift to the deep roads no dark spawn trouble yet but the earthquakes have been brutal mm. i was told to meet a shape of volta she's waiting below you won't see an orzammar dwarf on the surface they have rules about that okay and dark yes dark d-a-r-k so tell me about these earthquakes because they sound like a problem how many quakes have there been since you arrived? Uh, at least three big rumblers. And the aftershocks are nothing to sneeze at. Hmm. My feet miss solid ground. So... No darkspawn yet? So you haven't seen any darkspawn up here? I sharpened my arrows just in case, but <laughs> they never showed. I'm okay with that. Everyone's okay with that. Okay. So you don't like Orzammar, right? From your tone, I'd guess Orzammar isn't your favorite place. I don't have an opinion. Never Cloud been gazers to. like me aren't allowed in the city. <whistles> the lift's ready for you. Well, that dwarf had, you know, an expression like, yeah, better you than me. Oh, God. Okay, I hate this. Try I not to shift around and keep back from the edge. It's a long way down. <laughs> I know! Uh, I, I don't like heights, okay? This reminds me of a story. Shocking. It's about an impossibly <laughs> handsome dwarf and his friend who got crowned king of the gnomes. A nug king, really. It's not as good as it sounds. Nugs mostly just shit on the floor and roll in it. Welcome to the Deep Roads. Yay! Is it me, or is this the slowest lift ever constructed? And it's better this. than climbing down. I could do with some music. Something with a flute. This is an odd Always mass wondered effect. if I'd die down here. You're not dead yet. The day's just starting. Yay, the optimism of Blackwall. Look at this place. It's going to be fantastic. And finally, we have some new music. And the theme for the Descent DLC is this one. And it's fantastic. My girl, Norfolk, your names will not be forgotten. You must be Shea Pavolta, a trust for law, Inquisitor. The Shaper, it welcomes you to the Deep Roads. A trust of Allah. We should remember this. So next time I can address you all properly in Dwarven. Okay. Um, how bad are the casualties? That's what it is important. How many dwarves have you lost? More than we can count. The mining caste has suffered greatly. Our She's situation so has worsened since we contacted Skyhold. Oh, earthquake. The quakes collapsed this mine and shattered a seal, keeping the darkspawn at bay. The Legion of the Dead hasn't been able to mend the broken seal, and we can't afford to lose any more lyrium. So if you played the Dragon Age Origins, at this point, you have a big moment of wow, of, you know, remembering meeting the Legion of the Dead in Origins in the Deep Roads. And also the Deep Roads are a big part on Dragon Age 2 but not as big as in Dragon Age Origins, as is Orzammar, and so yeah, it's a big of a callback that is very welcome. So we're happy to help. The Inquisition stands ready to aid Orzammar. Without a steady lyrium supply, things on the surface will get even worse. Ah, uh, it's... Okay, that was a big rock. Apologies for pushing you. I feel no, the no, damage no, no. the tremor caused. 
Follow me to the Legion camp. Okay, let's follow Shaper Volta. But first, we need to level up everyone. We didn't get the chance yet. And look at that. We have points to spend. So let's see. I want some passive abilities for Blackie, like this one. And then Varric. Varric, I want you to be the best artificer we can get. And you are already. Of course, you are already because you're Varric Tetris. Yeah. Oh, this is not mapped yet. Why? Oh, God, why? No, no, immediately here. Huh. Yes. Okay, and let's just see. Okay, no, tactics. Hail of arrows. Yes, allowed and strongly encouraged. I want... Yeah, an easy to miss. Then we have Dorian. Okay, Dorian has a lot of abilities that will do shit against Darkspawn. So instead, I'm gonna give him something that is a bit more, you know. Mm, this is good, but no, it's not what I like. Let me just see. Yes, a spirit mark, okay. Uh, Dorian, I don't know what to give you, but I'm gonna go with this. Oh, I cannot. So I'm gonna go with this. And we must be on our way. So let's... Okay. Um, as you can see, we are not very deep into the earth yet. We still have vegetation around. Even whoa. Keep your eyes open. These roads are dangerous. This is making me slightly nauseous. <laughs> Let's claim what we can. There's history in the rocks split by these quakes. And for those without sure fitting. A particularly dangerous spot. Let's see if we can spy with our little eye. Okay, we can see nothing. Hmm. I'm walking very slowly, I know. There's a reason. And the reason is that I know we're going to get ambushed in a moment. Here we go. An ogre alpha, not just an ogre, as you can see. And since we, I don't think we have fought an ogre yet, okay? But now we're gonna... Uh. Hmm, what do we do? What do we do with this? Ah, let's go. Oh. Stay clear of its reach. Yeah, what well, I'm trying to. Let, let's go, but oh, look at that. Okay, I liked the ogre better. Oh, look at this shot when they were in, in Dragon Age Origins. But look at this guy here. Who is pretty. Okay, I'm sorry. I get fascinated easily. Let's kick him and I want Dorian to move the fuck away immediately. Also, yeah. Barrack, maybe. Okay, and um, stay 
away. Dorian, please stay away. Well, Dorian did not listen to me. No, he did. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, little vent. That was Blackwall. Okay. We need to take him down and it's not gonna be easy. As you can see, okay, he's immune. He's gonna be pissed at me very soon. Volta and Blackwall are going to pummel him very hard from up close and personal. And we need to hit not focused on us. Now the time to attack as we can from the distance. And as you can see, it's gonna be painfully slow. They don't like fire, dark spawn. Ooh, okay, Blackwell has been grabbed. Strike now. But he correctly used the ability to break the grab. And that's good because I never remember how to do that. Even if I've been just explained by a very helpful pop -up. Lately I cannot retain what I just read. Now's the time to attack. Yes, we are attacking Volta, I know. You may be expecting something more spectacular. We're more like a chip away slowly kind of in position, so yeah. Okay, since we're not doing anything uh, stupid, maybe I could try this. And also, ooh, okay. Dorian needs to use his abilities better. Okay, we're halfway there. Okay, he looks like he is immune to something we're doing, no, maybe to uh, the, um, yeah, it looks like he is immune to Dorian's uh, weapon, too bad, he's gonna go with something else now. Nope. You have my gratitude. Okay. We're in this together, darling. If I lost you, I'd never make it out of the deep roads. I'm sure you would find a way. If the ogre reached this point, the Legion must be overwhelmed. Let yes. us hurry. So, um, as you can see, the ogres, ooh, Lex, um, are tough and can be very, very dangerous. Oh, there's a flying, a flying dish. Okay, okay. Uh, they can be very, very dangerous. Uh, because this one was one ogre, but they usually do not come alone. They have a million other dark spawn chipping at you while you try to desperately chip at them. And this one focus on Blackwell, which is a good thing because Blackwell can take it. They usually like to focus on your mage. Okay, let's get I never down. Get used to the stench of dark spawn. They corrupt everything, even the air. We know that. Let's go. Now it's gonna trigger the scene very soon. But look around. Finally, we're in the deep. That's road. the broken seal ahead. Properly. It is worse than I thought. Ooh. Here we go. If you remember, a seal is basically a gigantic. Um, Dwarven door that has been put um, in a tunnel to seal, obviously, 
the entrance to the dog's one infested deep roads. Hello, Ren. I love this door. And that what it is left of that gigantic open door. I hate this guy. And I love this guy. So, um, the quakes basically destroyed the seal. Someone prime the sodding fuses! And that now the dark stone can come through, which is very, very bad. Okay, this, this position. works on Genlocks, which is a good news. Because, yeah. Genlocks are very, very annoying shit. With those bastards! Ouch, and they are very tough, and look at that, if they take, uh, no, no, if you decide that your mage is game, your mage is toast. We have to avoid them, uh, for them to get their way, and break through, and we are already not doing so well. I need to eliminate them, so yeah. We're gonna do something now. And this is what. Did we manage? Yes. And now we can deal with these guys. I love this spell! Oh, I didn't use this on Caribbeus. Look at that! Oh, we're making the earth tremble. Which is not a good thing right now, but yay! We gave the guys a minute to breathe. Yes! And now we basically turn the situation around. Uh, thing is, if I remember correctly, you can go on with this fight as long as you want. We're gonna level up very soon. We can go on with this fight for, I think, there's no limit. Because you need to go there and prime the seal. No, there's a counter here, so yeah, no, you have a limit of Darkstone when you take them all out. But we're gaining, you know, we see we're gaining terrain. The seal's clear! Prime the charges! And now we, oh, we leveled up. Now, set the charges! One. And two. And then we need to skadoodle. Loot. Yeah, why not? We need to go here. Take cover and watch it blow up. Oh, cool dwarves don't look at explosions. Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at that. So yeah. As you can see now, we have a bunch of rocks. So a pile of rubble. Um, yeah. Which is not a, a very uh, finely crafted dwarven door, but it does the uh, job anyway. <laughs> uh, so yes, now we're gonna establish a camp here. And look at that. Just like that, we have a fantastic camp. <sighs> Everyone is worried. 
And everyone is very, uh, I don't know, hip tattoos on their faces. Inquisitor, meet Lieutenant Wren, a veteran of the Fifth Flight and one of the Legion's finest commanders. <laughs> Someone paid her to say that. Appreciate the help, Inquisitor. Collapsing that seal bought us time. Blighters had the run of these tunnels for days. Now they have a roadblock. He's so cute. Sorry. Uh, so, okay, they have a roadblock. That is nice. So have you worked together long? Ooh, I get the impression get to know you your have people. known each other a while. Yeah. The Shaper had sent her to dig up some relics. Asked me to keep her out of trouble. That was three years ago. You can quit any time. <laughs> Not when we still have things to fight about. So, tell me about the deep roads, guys. How many deep roads are there? How deep do they go? They'll take you from one side of Thetis to the other. Oh, hello. Can if you go? have a death wish. The roads once connected dwarven cities that were hundreds of miles apart. Then came the Darkspawn. Ren and I have been exploring this region, reclaiming it, but the work is slow. Mark the map, fight an army, mark the map, fall in a hole, and so on. So your soldiers kick ass, <laughs> literally. For such a small group, your people have held up well. <sighs> the quakes took a lot of us. Reinforcements will be slow to arrive. And just on the queue. Whoa. Take cover. You heard that, yes. The rhythm in the tremors? It's clearer, stronger, more insistent. I hear it. Doesn't prove a thing. Ah, uh, guys. These what quakes are, are not a natural disaster. About? They're deliberate. There's an intelligence behind them. Wow. Are you serious? How can you know that? How could an earthquake be caused deliberately? We get plenty of natural tremors down here. These are different. She thinks she knows why. I found an ancient text during an expedition with Ren last year. At the time, it was just a curiosity. But now? Now? The text describes giant creatures called titans living deep underground. They sing in the stone, shaping it. When these quakes began, I believe we heard that rhythm. I believe a titan is causing all this destruction. So guys, here we are um, going to basically get acquainted with a major lore concept that was completely unknown before this DLC came out. And the concept is the titans. We're gonna learn more about it, but this is incredibly important to understand the story of Thetis. So, Titans? This is new! I've never heard of Titans before. What else can you tell me about them? The text I found predated the First Blight. Its pages had mostly rotted away, and there's no mention of the Titans in Orzammar's memories. Which tells you something. Hmm. Which tells you a lot of stuff if you want to, but so I don't hear anything. So what's this? All I heard was an earthquake. How is it you and Ren hear a rhythm? Our people have a strong connection to the stone. We feel it in a way topsiders cannot. Shapers have great stone sense. And Valta's better than most. She never gets lost. Huh. So, we may, you may be onto something. In she my experience, is. no explanation is too strange to consider. For all we know, that text you found was a bedtime story. We can't be sure until we find the source. The rhythm I sense in the quakes is emanating from somewhere far below. 
Okay. The stone will lead us there. And if it comes to a fight, that'll be our job. There's a lift at the side passage nearby. Ready when you are. So, as this gentle uh, pop-up tells us, it's going to have a new um, war table called the Expedition Table. Let me show you. Uh, it's uh, divided into the Deep Roads and the Uncharted Abyss. But we're not uh, there yet. So we have the Deep Roads, as you can see. And, oh, one operation available. Legion camp improvements that we can do, and we're gonna do. So if I'm not wrong, that's it for now. And we have now a very um, full optional camp. We can also buy and sell crafting materials, as you can see. Uh, okay, thank you. Let me just show the guys. Okay. A lot of stuff. And by this point, we have a lot of money that we're not going to need anywhere else. Clean it right. This is the road to the left. Something to loot here. Ooh, we got a bit of materials. Then we get, let me show you, this table, uh, which will be uh, the placement for our newest collection. After the bottles of Thedas collection, we're gonna get, ooh, armor. We're gonna get the um, beer collection, uh, the mugs, beer mugs collection of the deep roads. Here we can modify armors and weapons and potions to equip let's see okay yes thank you okay oh barrack yes mm, yes okay and here we can inspect requisitions craft armor and craft weapons so basically everything that we have in child so it's, uh, child... The king mm -hmm. it's possible here here we have a letter to read dearest Ayora, this is, will never reach you none of my letters will but writing helps me cope with having joined the legion for all the death I have already seen, there are wonders down here, and I wish you could see them. When it's quiet, there are still hints of what the deep roads used to be. Right now, I am sitting under the crumbling statue of a paragon. I asked Ansa if she knew what wood was, but the face is cracked, like I think it's Endrin, Stonehammer, or Morok the Mole, though i know your favorite ashdeth the gray back home i never cared about our history remember old allstick shouting about ozamar former glory naming thighs he never visited and people he'd only re read about i laughed at him but being down here seeing what we've lost these are more than words ayora they connected our empire let our culture flourish the stone accepted us, and we lived and moved within her. Now we cling to her like someone drowning. Forgive me, all my letters and the same. Legionnaire Grek. So if you don't remember, the Legion of the Dead is a um, basically a branch of the army that it's independent oh, oh this is was our way in and as you can see it's now locked we can get out if we want to go back to sky old we can um and this is the point we collapsed so um the legion of the dead is this uh, special force basically 
of dwarves that are completely and utterly devoted to fighting darkspawn in with any means necessary and they're called the legion of the dead because um they're basically um they go and fight darkspawn to the death and before uh when they enter the legion they get to celebrate their funeral because they're considered dead after that they're dead already and so there's no point in you know anything else but fight which is a little bit like the gray wardens and a bit if you want like you know um the knife's watch in a song of ice and fire um like that so it's time to go oh, you can clean it right Uh, I remember you that no one in this merry band of misfits is a Grey Warden. So no one here is immune to the taint. Drink. Uh, so if one of us gets infected by a darkspawn, ooh, it's endgame. But they didn't stress this uh, in the game. So this is a lift that will bring us down to the deep roads proper because we're still pretty much near the surface as you can see by the fact that there's light there and there's not going to be much of it anymore. So let's go. All aboard! Doo -doo. Another lift. Varric is not happy. No one lives I hope we don't run into an emissary. Oh. oh. Now we definitely will. I take it emissaries are bad. Most yes. darkspawn are mindless killing machines, connected by the blight. But emissaries are intelligent and use magic. Yes, emissary are very, very bad. And remember that I told you, yeah, there are a couple of fights during the games uh, that are tough, but the toughest one for me is one that happens in the uh, Descent DLC. Yes, that's with not one, but more than one emissary. Let's save, shall we? Okay, we're going to save now, but I want to make a new save game. Can I? Yes. What are you doing, Barak? Um, but let's not think about that fight because it's a bit a further along the way yet. So, yeah. Okay. But... It's not like we're going to, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, shrieks. It had to be shrieks. I thought you'd be used to all kinds of dark spawn. Okay. Everyone's got their favorites. Shrieks are the. No, this is a furlock. Okay, we cannot see them very well right now. But basically, darkspawn are divided in groups, in little tribes, if you will, uh, that are uh, dependent on what... Uh, their ascendance was. Uh, first of all, common misconception that you get infected by the blight and become a dark sun. Nope, that is not true. You become, if you get infected by the blight and you do not die uh, immediately, you become a ghoul. Ghouls are basically a subspecies of darkspawn but they're not not darkspawn they're humans infected by the blight they become a bit mindless they cannot control themselves 
they act a bit like zombies and uh, and they die very very soon dark spawn instead are born that way and they are born from brood mothers as you discover horribly horrifically in dragon age origins and um brood mothers are women that were not darkspawn to begin with that get transformed into you could say ghouls because but it's a more complex process they don't get just infected they get infected and then horrible stuff gets done to them abuse and they get to um, eat human flesh and stuff and then they transform in brood mothers those brood mothers then give birth to a multitude of children and those children are darkspawn uh, depending on the uh, species of the mother of the brood mother the darkspawn are different herlocks for example are born from human brood mothers unlock expedition yeah let's read this um and Genlock are um, from Dwarven Brood Mothers. Uh, I, we think that ogres come from Kunari and so on. And Shriek, where elves come from Kunari, from elf Brood Mothers. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I didn't want to do that. A torn page from a journal. Hulk's journal. Stone blind cold, they chanted. Their grubby fingers pushed my face into the ground, scraped the flesh from my ear, spilled blood. Two thumbs made black spots in my vision. Their voices were loud, so loud, but I hear her the loudest, the stone. Then they left me in the quiet dark. She remained. Her soft lullaby told me of a way I could return, a song of my own, filled with mother's love, I gather singing stone by hand. They said it would poison me, but mother would never do that, not to her son. Within me, within the melody, are secrets meant only for me. This belonged to an exiled dwarf. He was experimenting with Rolirian. And then we have the first mug. The pride of Nalthor. The words, let me, let them eat steak, are etched into the side of this well-worn tankhead. So, let them eat cake. <laughs> so, nothing else to find here. Let's go back to our trip. And pull. Ooh, guys. As you can see, we have the remains of something that was once fantastical in architecture. And yes, the deep roads once connected every point around Thedas, allegedly. So, yeah. Ooh. This door. There's something strange about it. There's something Looks strange like about our construction, a lot of but... stuff. Hmm. It's missing gears. We hey, have to look. find them. A it's gear. Way through. Okay, we now have to find three that gears. gear will fit the door. Keep an eye out for others. And now we have to find the other two. So uh, I usually use this technique here to, to take the first door and then go on like that. Let's see if because it's frustrating. So as I was telling you. These are Genlock here. So their mother was a dwarf. The brood mother that birthed them was 
originally a dwarven woman transformed if you remember the prophecy oh and look at that an emissary okay emissary are horrible like nosferatu-esque horrible okay let's see if this helps a little bit yeah a bit I know, okay guys, you're mad at me for invading your home. Look at Varric, all clever there, standing on the ledge. No, uh, Varric, go back there. It was actually a very good tactic. So, Emissaries, uh, one, they have barrier. As you can see, they can cast a barrier on themselves. They're fire resistant, which is very bad news for us. Yes, and they are vulnerable to cold. Okay, they're down. Uh, and they cast spells, which is very, very bad. But this was just an emissary. Uh, okay. Uh, usually, uh, emissaries are not a big problem. But emissary alphas, mm, yes, they are. Ooh, a gear. This gear is warm to the touch. Strange. I don't recognize that metal. But we should only need one more. So here is a little puzzle, and I usually don't remember how to solve this. We're gonna try, okay? like uh, we need to get them lit all at once so let's try with this one who is unlit first and now uh, that is unlit let's try with okay let's do the the two edges the two extremes okay oh, and then this nope this turn this off okay turn it off uh, so all turned off now hmm I don't want to go and look for the solution I always find like there must be a let's try every other one and then stop following me guys I was talking about black wool and the others not about you please do not stop following me oh we opened it we actually opened it already okay it was the first oh, okay sorry it was the first solution okay we get gold we get gold it was the first solution then uh. i don't even remember what that was <laughs> okay can i get this Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no, thanks. Okay, nothing really impressive here. But thank you anyway for your gentle contribution to your um, to our cause. And we are back in the corridor, okay? We came from here. We took this door first. And we came out this door. So next... It's gonna be, it's gonna be, okay, the only one we have, which is this one. So, yeah. What we're gonna find here is, you guessed, and you guessed wrong. We don't have Dalakspawn. We have these horrible, horrible creatures, <laughs> the deep stalkers. I mean, I wanted to show you. Have you ever looked at one of these in the face? Huh? They have these uh, teeth and this round mouth, much like a, a lamprey, okay? And they are horrible, horrible creatures. There were much more of a problem uh, in origin. The details, but yeah. Now 
they're just really taking a test. They make good coats. Yeah, I don't know about silly, you know. Velociraptors, yes, but I don't know about silly. They're kind of if they attack you in what numbers. Uh, let's we'll come to that. I adore dwarven bookshelves. Look at that. I would love to have something like that at home. So, uh, Ren is talking about this. What the hell is this, right? And if you played, well, if you played anything in your life, you recognize immediately what this game is. And you know that I'm gonna be bad at it, right? So it's another page from Kolg's journal. The song is soft, but hard to crack. I hear the words. I can even taste them, but I cannot say them. Maybe mother needs me to remove my teeth. Hmm, that's an idea. Uh, let's see this one. Builders Towers. The words on every page in this book have been crossed out. Spidery scribbled notes fill the margins. Builders Towers. Such an old game. Not just for children, no. Big cannot cover small. Left moves right. Piece by piece, they never know, they never find what happens when the towers move. I found it, but I have no need of it anymore. So there's gonna be loot, and we're gonna get it! Let me just, uh, block it. You're in the middle, okay. So first we're gonna move a puzzle piece here. There. Then we're gonna move it, okay. This, we're gonna put here. Do this. Okay, I, I have to remember how to do this, okay? Have mercy on me, okay? And then that is gonna be that. That is gonna be that. And that is gonna be that. Now. No, okay. Hmm, go back. You stay there, you stay there, you come here, you come here, you come back here, you go there, and you go right. Yay! We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Slowly, but very surely. Don't call me Shirley. Uh, we're gonna do this. Okay, that is gonna move that here. Uh, no, we we'll can't go back there. And that is gonna move back here. Mm, I cannot do this. I hate you. So you know what? You're gonna go here. And you're gonna go here. And you're gonna go here. And you're gonna go right. Yay! Another piece is found at the place. Baby. And then it's gonna be easy. Yay! Ta-da! Okay. Only Leary Maddle's mind would hide secrets behind such madness. Don't be so harsh. I mean, okay. We have a lot of gold. A dagger. Yes. And a lot of soldiers. And the statuettes and plate and whatever. We're not going to take. Hmm. So, yes. We're going to go back here and see if there's anything of note. I don't Ren, think so. I'm sorry about Bernat. You served with him a long time. <sighs> it was quick. And Bernat returned to the stone with honor. 
We should all be so lucky. It's all right to be upset. I'm too old to be upset. Okay, I need to pick them all up to complete the <laughs> thingy. Oh, okay, no problem. Let's go back. We need to find... Oh no, we have all the gears that we need, actually. We should basically... Okay, let me just... Oh, we need to level up. Hmm. It's time to get this. I'm not going to use it yet, but it's time to get this. So let's go back to the door. Ooh, here we go. Okay, I knew there was one. We have enough the of these odd gears. Let's head back to the door. Yes, I just said that. <laughs> And now I love the sound that these are about to make. <laughs> Clunk. Elaborate hand-carved stamps have formed the smudged ink letters on this parchment into a symmetrical pattern. I obey the creator. My tasks are clear. Commands will be fulfilled. Barriers, divisions to conquer, mazes, Prisons to redeem, carvings, wounds to heal. My three sacred duties, I must not fail. Doubt is my companion, write down the questions, hope to learn answers. Who weaves the sigil? What does it summon? How does it trigger? The creator knows everything, but still I ask, why am I chosen? <coughs> Clonk, clonk, clonk. Okay. Honestly, I don't know. I played this a number of times, but it's still very much a it's mystery open. to me. Keep any gears we find. We may need more. And if we don't, I want to study them. Whatever they're made of wasn't mine down here. Okay. It is a satisfying noise, isn't it? I mean, it's very... No, no, I like it. Ooh, I see a little red point. A little red dot. And we have our uh, herlocks. You can see very well... Okay, sorry. Uh, you can see how uh, they have human traits in them. Okay, this one is very tired. Um, and because their mother was... <coughs> A human brood mother. Okay, we have archers, so I'm going. Ooh! Out of my bubble! Oh, this guy is annoying! Oh, we have one of the big ones. We have one of the big ones. Alarm. Alarms. Is he immune to fire? Yes. Uh, oh. Okay, we have a problem. Uh, as in, we do not have a many uh, electrical mages in, uh, in general. And we're gonna need them. But for now, uh, what we do not have uh, in tactics, we're gonna do with sheer uh, blunt force. Done and done. Just like that. Ooh, a gear. Look, a gear. Ooh. The rhythm of the tremors. It echoes through the stone. This way. So Volta very much knows the way. Or at least it looks like it. And there's another gear here. What is the gear? Here. They're not going to be uh, all in these convenient positions. Look at that. 
Very convenient. Another strange door. Who put these here? And why? This one uses a different kind of gear from the others. We don't have to open it. My stone sense leads the other way. But Though we're I am curious to see the other gonna... side. Some of the hand stamped ink letters on this parchment are hastily smeared over each other. Only the following words are legible. The creator provides tools, burning wheels, lower gates. I break the lines, forge the broken sigil. Look the way, lock the way behind. Claws raking the door, scatter all the keys. What trails my steps? It does not matter. There is only forward. You always are. Let's open it. Okay, so far not impressed. That scar on your nose is new. Yeah, well, fell out of bed. Huh. You sleep on the ground. <laughs> Surprised me too. Okay, there are no doors. This too has fa a fantastic banter. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fight. Maybe not as hard a fight as I remember. Because that's a revenant. And we are basically, yeah. It's cold, resistant, and fire burnable. Bad news for everyone. Oh, you want me close to you? That's so nice. Okay, we're gonna be close then. Stay away from me, you creep. Okay, no. Okay. You know what? Let's see if this is your... Whoa, you don't like this. No, you like this. It's not, nothing that phases you. Okay, he just wants to get into my Inquisitor's hand is, doesn't he? Okay, Volta, you need a hand. Uh -huh. Let me give you this. the Revenant Temple. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, yeah? New tactics. I'm gonna ignore the minions. Why is Barrick constantly dying? Okay. Now, take one of these. And stop dying. Just, you know, casually attack. Like this. Not that it's going to do much against the Revenant, I think. But you know what, guys? This was not such a good idea, but we're done, basically. I want to 
last. Oh, I want the last hit. I want to finish him. Okay, maybe I did. I think I did finish him. Okay, he's down. Oh, it was, yeah, it was kind of a meh fight. A simple pendant. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So much loot. Let's see what's in here. Yes, nice. In here, what's in here? And in here. Oh no, there's four of them. Okay, I'm gonna just take this. Let's see the last one. This is the better one. A superb amulet of dexterity. Yum yum. Ooh, let's read. Oh, blacky. Don't do that. <laughs> Warden Alisa diary. I've never had a diary before. The wardens kept me too busy, but now I'm dying and there's no one to talk to. I'm alone with the music in my head growing louder. I always wondered how wardens knew where they heard a calling. I asked Liam once after too many drinks. You'll know, he said, and I did. At first it was just a whisper, a creak in the door hinge I could put off boiling. But soon, all I could hear was the music. It was there when I swung my staff and wiped the sweat from my brow. It lingered in Liam's laughter and stalked my dreams. I can't explain the sound, the song, but I knew. It's a poison that grows in the mind, then consumes the body. I came here to die, in death sacrifice but i won't go quietly i cut through the darkspawn horde expecting to find only more of them the deeper i traveled but nothing has matched my expectations deep roads broke to mine darkspawn dwarven ruins caverns and death but there's an entire underground world here just today i came across plants with lyrium streak veins i took a bath in a lake that held crisp fresh water the cautious animals, large and small, that I never seen before. It can't be the first. I can't be the first warden to witness such wonders. I was distracted by the curiosities yesterday. Was it yesterday? I let my guard down. Got comfortable. Easy to do when you know death is inevitable. But when I stumbled across something horrible, I smelled it before I saw it. Bodies. Harlocks, genlocks, creatures I didn't recognize, hundreds of them, mutilated, tortured, and thrown into pits. I ran, didn't see the hole, can't move my legs, they look like they should hurt, but I can feel it. The music is too loud, the younger too strong, I can still crawl, I don't want to die like this. And there's a sketch. That we're gonna keep this great warden had a map. Could be important. And we don't know exactly how that came to be here. Maybe uh, I don't know. Someone, maybe a a dark spawn of something, took it from her final resting place, and probably brought it here and died when the revenant killed it that's the only you know explanation i can find but now we know where she died and we could try and find it find their body now uh after this <laughs> very you know yay uplifting moment yeah the deep roads are a very very uplifting place let's get on with our uh, destination, you know, we have a job to do. We need, if you don't remember, oh, and that's a reminder. We need to find out why the ground is shaking. 
And to do so, we're going to get deep into the deep roads. Okay, look at that. We have a couple of Genlock Alpha. The difference here is they are heavily armored and they usually have more uh, ex, um, petapa. <laughs> they have more um, hit points so the more health let's do this and yeah black it go and fight okay let's try and take him down i'm gonna use barrack for a while not great with uh, Bianca, but better if I stick to my mage stuff, right? Okay, I don't know why I use this. There are no archers. Are there? Ooh, yes, there are. Oh, the guy is using throw weapons. Okay, I didn't get this. The guy is like javelins or something. I'm too pretty to die. Yes, you are, Dorian. You're gonna avoid that. Don't worry. Okay. Let's go here where they cannot hit me with that. And they? Okay, one is down. It's going very slowly down, but the good thing is he's too preoccupied. Hey, ciao! More attacky, but 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 maca. No, you won't have more of my bloopers. You fiend. Okay. Oh, this guy is trying to actively killing me even if he's basically dealing with a bunch of angry dwarves and a gray warden he was still trying to you scare me like that's... you've been doing it your whole life inquisitor ah, thank he you. means that as a compliment it is you're famous even down here is it true you killed a dragon yes Oh, they are noble beasts. Magnificent creatures. Bringing one down is always bittersweet. I can't even imagine. Tell me about their teeth. I've heard they don't all breathe fire. And Ooh. their scales have different colors. I'm gonna and sneeze, patterns. obviously. Careful, Ren. I believe you're drooling. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <coughs> Another one coming, actually. Oh. Angry Dwarfs, a problematic physics game that tries to avoid the argument that you never toss a dwarf. That would be... Oh, that, that's actually a good idea. Do you know anyone who makes games? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here, guys, I know it sounds stupid, but I'm gonna save. Ah, uh, now I'm gonna... And that's because I'm going to fall to my that, more likely. Do, 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 do. Okay, I can collect you. And then the trick is gonna be this one. Use another character to avoid falling to your death while you come back from the ledge. Okay, we are here. Ah. Why do I do this? Because I died way too many times. Toss a dwarf to your dragon. Oh, valley of people who's gonna die very soon. <laughs> because, yeah, he's not gonna like it. Um, so, I've died way too many times doing this. Like, oh no, now I have the, uh, the cog, the Dwemer cog. Let's go back up. So, yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. Toss a coin to your Twitcher, basically, me. No, you cannot because I didn't have donations. 
and I'll never have because I have to be like uh, do you have to be like affiliate or something to have bits right uh, okay I know I, I am five followers oh, oh the spiders are gonna interrupt me rude spiders oh I said Dwemer I said Dwemer didn't I okay you know why I said that I'm way more used to Dwemer cogs than to Dwarven cogs and they are basically the same thing in two different universes, of course. Yeah. The dream is leading. The god head is awakening. Anyway, uh, I know someone pointed out at me a lot of time that uh, I am basically five uh, followers away from 50 which is a fantastic result honestly guys thank you so much uh because i couldn't imagine uh coming this far and i am uh, 50 uh, 45 uh, followers here and on youtube which is you know how, uh, on um, the uh, fahrenheit and the celsius uh, temperature scale basically uh, are different but uh, when you go minus 40, the, it's the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So that's it. 45 is the point in common between YouTube and Twitch. And uh, I know that if I get to 50, I get one of the prerequisites to get affiliate status. But I also need to get at least five people uh, in chat active at the same time. And yeah, <laughs> not going to happen soon, I think. But yeah, I like to dream. So now we're gonna have one of the glitchiest moment in the game ever. And I did not save yet, but I saved not long ago, so it's okay. One of the things that could happen here and, and happened like at least two times already. Uh, this wall here is glitchy. I don't know where, but there's a bit in uh, this wall that has not... Uh, it, the texture uh, is not perfectly closed and sometimes the ogre glitches through it and it gets stuck which is good because you can basically kill it uh, without him uh, doing much damage but it's not so great if he gets stuck and you can not kill it and he, he cannot basically move away and die so yeah so look at that we do have an ogre minding his own business and we're going to ruin his day and he knows it he's mad look at that uh then we have a strange happenstance with bodies hmm, maybe that's what the gray warden we just found the drama of Ooh, i split way too many definitives was talking about Hello. So, hello. Um, can we uh, maybe pass through without you attacking us? I don't think so. So I'm going to attack you first. Okay, now you're triggered. Investigate the corpses. I have something else to do first. Who are you smashing? Oh yes, come to mama. No, not you, not you, not you. I was not talking to you, big boy. Oh, I hate Genlocks. I hate Genlocks, guys. Good morning, yes. Can we... T do you have a moment for our lady and savior Andraste? I used that way too many times already, I'm on high. Okay, look at this Genlock. He was trying to glitch through the wall. Why are you coming to me? I mean, oh, Blackwall is not liking it. Okay, everybody on the ground! So, when I was 
playing uh, this fight nightmare. I basically kept retreating and retreating and I went back up the stairs completely. Let's try not to do this. Hmm? Uh, a Dorian though, uh, yeah, Dorian uh, needs to back the fuck up and take a potion. So let's see if we can manage to do that. Yes, Dorian. Oh no, Dorian is basically dead. Ugh. Dorian, oh no. Dorian was already dead. Oh, when you see this, I don't know if you Silver in particular has seen, can you see that one of the effects that uh, Dorian has on is Battle of the Bands, right? It's a fantastic uh, special effect from um, the stuff that Tigiani is using, which is called Encore. Oh, back up. And Encore is a field of uh, musical puns. And it, it's a stuff that you actually get uh, during Trespasser. In Orlay, I think after you have that sweet little scene with Josephine at the Opera. But I thought it was, honestly, it was a pity to wait until then to use it. It's one of my favorite weapons in Inquisition. Oh, what was that? That was the ogre dying, wasn't it? Look at that. <gasps> this, guys, I managed to actually capture the moment where uh, the walking bomb goes off. Dorian cast walking bomb or whatever the name of uh, that spell is yes the center one with the triangle on the ogre and it killed it yes that's cool wow look at that Woo! too much my graphics card is not gonna like it Oh, I'm on PS4, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. Uh, <laughs> so no, he's not dead. Look at that, he's so much alive, but it just exploded. Oh, wow. Anyway, I love it. I don't know why it's doing that, but I love it. You know what? We have this spell. We might as well use it! You do not mess with Inquisition! Yabba da yabba da da! You make fire fall from the sky! You're gonna regret messing with me! <laughs> improvised very very not musical tune was offered to be by the Inquisition. We are not famous for our songs. So you know what Dorian, um, you could, you know, yeah no just do that. Let's just chip away, chip away, chip away. Okay, the meteor shower actually did a lot of damage. Okay, we exploded the ogre. It did not glitch, which is super good and super rare. See if we manage to 
this uh, in one of the in in that fight that I told you about, the one where you uh, basically have to fight everyone and their mama um, here in the docks in the deep roads. I don't know that uh, Silver is asking: Is it just me, or in the descent? The dwarves do much more than their numeric share in the fights. I don't know, but you know what? The dwarves that you actually have with you are NPCs. So for once, besides Varric, which looks like is doing his usual lot of work, but I think that's why. And they probably uh, calibrated, hello Gardus Bakarian, uh, the uh, dwarves to be a little bit more badass in the deep roads, which would be nice and very low friendly indeed. So nothing to see here. Let's go downstairs. Uh, in that uh, fucking <coughs> fight with the multiple emissaries, multiple ogres, multiple waves of darkspawn. Um, one very common glitch is that after you finally kick the final emissary in the teeth, they should drop a very nice, um, st unique stuff, but sometimes the corpses, uh, the corpse, um, glitches into a wall and you cannot take, you cannot loot it. And that makes me mad. There's nothing left of them. Can't even tell who they were. I'm sorry, Ren. You join the Legion knowing you're already dead. You don't fear the killing blow. We rest in the stone and pass our strength back to her. That's our reward. But the Darkspawn... defiled these soldiers. They can't return to the stone. They'd only weaken her. And nothing we can do? There must be some way to lay them to rest with honor. We can burn the remains. Aye. So all we can do. This is very sad, obviously. So, okay. And we are coming to a natural point where we should stop, guys. Because uh, it's going to be a major change of scenery once again and yes it's almost time to stop but not yet in the meantime i am uh, equally glad and sad to tell you that the cat has not reappeared which is nice because i hope he found his way home but at the same time i'm so worried what if he did not he is not very bright is is a himbo of a cat is very beautiful but doesn't look very bright what if he's lost and it's so cold now i mean you can sleep inside here you can sleep on my couch you have food here come back anyway i already named it i'm not gonna tell you how i named it but i already did that i'm so bad anyway let's take a look Look at that, Ren. Could this be Tighedron? Dark spawn all over it. You can see their torches. Even dark spawn appreciate a little mood lighting. We're getting close to something. Aye, the fight of our lives. Hmm. <laughs> so you can see all the torches that everybody mentions. In the distance, Barak, you're in the middle and trying to show them stuff. And it's very eerie and strange noises. And yes, one cannot be visited by a cat for any amount of time and not care. Yes, very much that. Also, this one was sweet, like very sweet cat. A bit scared, but not much. And you know. 
letter to Merchant Levnog predating the first flight. Levnog, more of the brand, refused to make the journey to Hadron Taig. Rumors of the incident had spread, and no amount of coin or beatings could persuade him. Persuade them. I asked Miner Vasov to send the Izana shipment with his own crew, but have yet to receive a reply. I inquired if anyone else has heard from the Erdron contacts. Nothing. I worry that it has something to do with those creatures that were the faces of the dead. Apparently, the king himself is leading a troop of warriors to check on the situation. Needless to say, the shipment will be late. I just hope it arrives at all. <coughs> so, one interesting fact is that in speaking about this Izana shipment and the very nice stuff that I was talking about that you get after killing the last emissary in the waves is called Izana's song so yeah whatever Izana is or whoever Izana was the stuff probably comes from that period of time. I always found very uh, funny somehow the fact that when you find um, unique weapons in video games in general, you find them and they have a name. Um, <laughs> and I always imagine, you know, like they have a little, you know, tag, like, hey, this is Izana's song. You can use this stuff by, this was made by, like, because otherwise, how the hell should you, oh, look at that. Did you see that spider coming down? There, again. In between those two houses there giant spiders I hate them anyway I always found that funny you know oh this m magical weapon <laughs> it's called like that and how do you possibly know anyway let's use potions because we have a supply cash very convenient Drink up! So let me take a look here. Look at that bridge. I would not set foot on that kind of bridge in real life. Look at that. That is... I don't know if we have any engineers. I mean civil and engineers uh, watching this. Oh, look at those spiders still coming down. But look at that, it's not structurally sound in any way. Anywho, let's go down. We're starting to get into the deepest part. Still some light filters through, which is very strange. I and they probably chose that in order to give you some sort of light effects and in order for you to be able Keep to your mouth see. Keep when fighting Darkspawn. Your blood's poison. Uh, thank you. Thanks for the warning. There was this Carter boy, Vaughn, who joined the Legion around the same time I did. Fast with daggers. Could poke 50 holes in a hurlock before the blighter knew what happened. Daggers are messy. Vaughn swallowed some spatter. Took him three days to die. We need to work on your stories, Grizzly. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ren is a bit grim. Also, look at the size of these chains. This is this lift here gives me a bit more, you know. I trust it a little bit more. 
Lost a good soldier in the roads once. Oh, this is fantastic. Fell down a hole. Found her three days later. He loves this story. She spent a whole day telling us all the strange things she saw while lost. A golden longboat floating in the air. Packs of hairless children hunting nugs. A giant skeleton on a throne. Was it true? <laughs> Never found out. She woke up the next day, couldn't remember any of it. I absolutely adore this bit of banter. It always triggers here this idea of the deep road as this magical place where the strangest thing happened, like this picture of the golden longboat sailing in the air the chill the creepy children it's fantastic it's perfect i like big chains and i cannot lie <laughs> yeah. i have to and finally here in inquisition we get to see uh, the deep roads in a more three-dimensional way and not just like this brown. <laughs> and Dragon Age Origins um, is a great game. It is very brown. Like, you know that meme uh, about Skyrim where everything is really desaturated. Yeah, and, and then there's Origins that's very brown. They also reference it in... I don't remember it's Dragon Age 2 when they talk about Ferelden. I think it's Meryl that says oh, it was very brown. I cannot do a Welsh accent, but I love it. It's very brown. Um, so here we have properly three dimensional uh, representation of the deep roads, finally. And it's magical. And I wish they gave us. A bit of that strange stuff that you cannot really explain, but we get a bit of that. You know how every time you uh, look at that, every time you jump on a ledge on, on somewhere dangerous, all the party jumps up behind you and it's like oh what a fantastic view up eye it would be a real pity if someone would fall oops okay now we have another supply cache which i always found very very suspicious hmm. but i know there's a fight coming but you just gave me one. So yeah. Supply cash not right. So now we have something to find here. Once you get here, you can go straight. Ledges, what's on the Grey Warden's map? Time to exactly. look around. If you remember the map that we found with the Grey Warden diary. This is the place, so we're gonna find where it goes. And I was talking about how you walk on the edge of something and everyone tries to bring you down. Okay, this is the right direction, but it looks like uh, there's nothing, right? But look at that, okay, there's a ledge. So you are gonna basically take a leap of faith uh, it's always very creepy to do that and then walk the ledge you're gonna find an ancient ear your death <laughs> and something else if you manage not to fall a camp another gear And 
Valosatradum, which is a fantastic sword that, if I remember correctly, uh, Blackwell is going to appreciate. Silva says, I like the walking animation, like I'm probably going to fall to my death, but with style, damn it, exactly. We die in style here. So you can manage to jump around a bit here, but I wouldn't recommend it. Because it's a bit glitchy. And sometimes you can... Oh, we got attacked. And you're going to see in a minute what I mean by glitchy. Help um, Dorian! Help Dorian, yes. Uh, because uh, now we don't have much choice if not to jump down and be hurt by it. Okay. And if you try to simply get down... Uh, Oh, they got attacked on the other side because they tried to walk around and they walked right into the big fight without me, guys? Aww. Not into the big fight without me. Um, those rocks around that ledge and everything are horribly um, inconsistent. So uh, you see uh, rocks, but sometimes it's just the appearance and the texture is not there. So yeah. Don't do that. You can fall through the rocks and get stuck. And the only uh, option you have then is to take control of another character and walk very, very far. And I hope to be pulled back. And it doesn't always work. So uh, now we get um, to choose, basically. We can open... Oh, let's loot. Uh, I don't like the idea of walking into the deep road's water. Uh, we can actually uh, choose to open this door. Do something. Or we can choose to open that door. I don't this. remember exactly because I know behind that door there's the rest of a, an ancient caravan lost. Maybe the one that we were talking about there. Um. Oh, let's open it up. There's his hand-stamped smudged ink letters are barely legible, overlapping each other in tight spirals on the parchment. Redemption should follow sacrifice. The creator promised me I end without hope. Yay! Every command a lie. Each task a trap. Divided, I am conquered. The sigil breaks me. This is not creepy at all. what's inside yes a lost caravan it may have been down here for centuries I wonder if anything's left of course yes and we have also gear we have gold this and this okay let's see in the other crate more gold stave staff with superb amulet Okay, the gear, and not much else, right? Nope. Okay, the gear was nice. So we cannot open that, because we basically um, use the gears, but there's another way around. And we're going to find ourselves very soon into another part of the deep roads. But, guys, we're gonna do this next time, okay? Because for tonight, I think... Ooh, we could try and open that. But we, for tonight, maybe we do have enough gears. So let's find out next time. Uh, for tonight, we are done. Because, yeah, 
you cannot. No, well, you can absolutely speed run the deep roads, but you're not gonna have much fun if you do. Like, I know that there are a lot of players that when they uh, come to this point, they want uh, to do uh, the Descent DLC. Um. Oh, there was a bit brief degradation again at midnight. So, yeah, maybe my router is actually a pumpkin. <laughs> so, yeah, it's telling me that we need to wrap it up. Uh, so, there are guys, people that usually want to play the DLC but do not want to play the DLC so basically they want the benefit the rewards at the end and they want to be completionist but they do not enjoy doing that and I'm not one of those I never speed run something so if I do it I do it properly and also I try to have fun so we're gonna do it next time properly with all that it takes and yeah it's gonna be creepy 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 and gloomy <laughs> so since my router actually is trying to tell me to go to bed or maybe wait for the cat to come back but the cat came back the very next day uh i'm gonna bid you a good night i'm gonna tell you the red shira as the elves would say and I'm gonna thank you again for watching. Thank you for following. And yes, if you did not uh, click on follow, do that now. Uh, because the road to affiliate goes ever on. Now I would never get there, but you know, the road to 50 followers would be nice. So thank you again. And I'm gonna see you in the next days with uh, other games and stuff and we're gonna pick this up next monday then maybe i could go back to do uh, a couple of week a couple of streams a week a uh, week weeks uh patrick weeks sorry um for inquisition but i don't know if i can do that our work is always in the way i hope so i'm gonna see we're gonna see for now, thank you for watching, thank you for following, thank you for subbing, thank you for being there, and see you next week. Bye!